What's up, penis faces? Um, <clears throat> I do. I just do. I do. I just restart it. Do I just go? Do I just do a different intro? <laughs> you can probably tell with your followers what you say in the. Uh, there's so many questions. Uh, like, okay. Yeah, okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. So, in the beginning. Hold on, let me pick Freya. I'm, re I'm playing Freya instead of Soul to show you guys the new Hecate ring because I did a Soul video more recently than I have done a Freya video, so that's the reasoning. The, this is what I say in the beginning. What's up, sexy Samalander squad? It's Samalander, not Salamander, and if you say Salamander, I'll do nothing because if I say I'll do something, then everyone will say it, so. Um, yeah, that's what I say in the beginning. The reason I say that is because when I first started streaming and YouTube and everything like that, um, real quick, sidetrack, if you want to see all this, what the decorated things we did for the, de yeah, the decorating things we did for the, the room as of right now, go to the rat video that is uploaded before this and watch the intro. Anyways, the reason I say it is because when I first started streaming and, you know, YouTube in general, I guess, um, my lungs would collapse all the fucking time. Just all the time. My dad's a cop. You would never make it in prison. Let me win. I control the cops. My payroll knows no bounds. Okay. Anyways. Oh shit! He said he controls the guys that control the cops. Okay, I have to go D and D, or I'll never tell my story. So, um, when I first started streaming, my lungs would collapse all the time, and one day, somebody that, you know, you guys might know, the metronome, comes to stream pretty often now. Um, he said a fun fact about salamanders is that. If you, like, if they lose their tail or, you know, a part of their body, they just regrow that bitch. Um, it might only be the tail. But, either way, they just regrow that shit. And the reason I adopted Salamander into Samalander, one, my name is Sam, and two, because I was very lucky when my lungs would collapse, that my lungs would actually just reinflate and like regrow which is why i call it the stimulander squad yeah okay can you say that a little louder so they can hear just in case they didn't hear you they can re they can regrow their limbs and regenerate major parts of major organs so like what does that mean? If their heart is like, eh, we could use a little, we could use a little touch up. They just start their body just fucking regens their heart. That's nuts. Anyways, that's the story behind why I, I call, I guess my my following group sexy Samalanders instead of Salamanders. Sexy, I mean that's because I I you know am the leader and I'm fucking hot as hell. So, and the <laughs> Salamander part is just for the explanation I just gave. Now you know. Bill Nye style. Dude, I saw this the Twitter thing about Bill Nye just going off on people that weren't wearing masks. And it was the funniest shit ever. And it also made me like a little bit sad that if I ever have a kid, they won't they won't be able to learn science off my boy Bill Nye. You know? Cause hold on, I gotta beat that. That auto hit, so I ulted. One, two, miss. Doesn't matter, he braced it. Fucking easy. Now if he ults me, do I care? I don't think so. He doesn't have any items, so I'm not very scared of him. I mean, I also have no items, but I have more health than him. That's why I'm not scared of him. Alright, let's go back, get the bracer. The build is going to look pretty generic. For the first two items, it's just going to be Bracer Boots, like it always is. And then, we're going to go Hecate Ring, which, for those who don't know, 
the new passive. Obviously, it'll be the thumbnail as well. So you could read it off the thumbnail. But it is every auto attack for three auto attacks. You steal 5% of their power, which means it's a net gain of... Or like a power gain of 30% power over them. Because you steal 5% of their power and you gain 5% power. So they're minus 15, you're up 15, which is a 30% difference. So you basically gain a 30% increase in the fighting potential. Just by building the fucking ring, which is absurd. And um, also, if you a ton of lifesteal... Which is good for, you know, any auto attack mage. And also, gives you a ton of attack speed, which means it's just like the best thing. Oh, if he didn't have his two up, I would have killed him. Oh. How much is lifesteal boost? Do I want to stack this much lifesteal? Because Hecate has a lot of lifesteal. Yeah, I do. I do. I decided mid-sentence that I do. This is what it does. In case I explained it wrong, you can you can see it here. 30% attack speed, 20% magical lifesteal, 80 power, which is, is a lot of power. Um, And then the 30% swing that I told you about... What I didn't tell you about, though, is that it gives you 5% increased healing, up to 15% increased healing, which, I mean, it's just like Rod of Ass Claps, but actually use useful. So, it's, it's just a crazy item all around. It replaced Shaman's Ring, which did have its, like, niche cases where it was good. But overall, Ring of Hecate is just infinitely better I'm not gonna use my two I'm just gonna punch these no my ages and by ages I mean my ultimate I tried, I was spamming my ult, but it had one second left on the cooldown. And then when I when my ult didn't go off, I tried to press my three and it was too late. Man, too late, it was already gone. I was already gone. Unfortunate. Oh, he didn't do my blue. Alright, so I'm gonna do blue, and then... How much is... 1300 for tier 2? And the whole item is 2500, I believe? Yeah. Which is actually the second cheapest ring. So I think what we're gonna do... Is we're just gonna go straight into Hecate. Because the lifesteal increase is nuts. For when I get Typhons, it'll give me a lot of power. And... Hold on. Naja's scaring me. He looking mighty freaky. Like he uses chains in bed or something. You don't have ult, right? Be honest. Oh! <laughs> He missed time to the alt, dude. That is very. <laughs> That's very unfortunate, but also really funny for me. <laughs> oh, I should go on D and D now, so he doesn't think I'm just some douchebag who doesn't want to talk to him. I had to tell my story. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was telling a story, and I kept losing my train. A thought. I don't hate you. Fuck, I did a backwards part. Now he thinks I hate him again. Oops. Alright. You know what? You're still stinky, bro. What? That's kind of toxic. 
like your breath. Oh, shit. Got him. He said, report me. Wait. <laughs> Damn, I really need some attack speed, huh? I can't even clear minions with my two up yet. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. He didn't do it. What a legend. Such a keen edge. <gasps> Such a keen edge. He's going. I mean, Heartseeker is pretty nice right now. They added the pen to it. It's looking mighty fierce. Damn, that Hecate Ring 30% attack speed is just an immediate change in the feel of the the gameplay like in the, in the feel of the pace of the game i should say i pick up the item and i'm immediately like i could take on every plo plo every plo every pro player at the same time right now fight me Fight me till death. Boom, 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 boom. He ulted. All right, we got his bracer and his ult. Or just my ult. That's really good. Dude, every auto attack, I just get stronger and stronger and stronger. It's incredible. Ow, that hit me, and quite frankly, did too much damage. Oh my god, bro. He just had thorns up, and beat stick, and I didn't have my two, and I still out-traded him. My autos started doing so much damage. Yo, Hecate is so strong. So, I, there's a lot of theories about why it seems like Irez is just releasing a bunch of new super overpowered items right now. Like the new Berserker Shield, um, adding 10% pen to just like a bunch of random shit, Hecate Ring, and Serrated Edge. Like, there's a lot of people wondering, like, why <laughs> they're just adding all of the super OP shit at the same patch. And, um, I have a theory myself, and my theory is that they want these, like, cheap, really, really good power spikes because they want the game to feel more fast-paced because they just released the Avatar Battle Pass, which means a lot of people are going to be playing, um, which is actually why they've been having such bad server issues right now, because the server capacity is being overwhelmed consistently. Too many people are trying to log on. Even Soldier Boy streamed Smite yesterday. So, um... So, yeah. They're, they're... My theory is they're making all these changes to super OP items to make the game feel a lot faster paced so that the new players, like Soldier Boy, who comes in with a big audience, um... When they play the game, it's not just like a 30 minute farm fest and then one fight and then you lose or win, you know? It's actually like you're playing a game rather than slowly trying to... Hold on, let me fuck. One, missed. Two, missed. Three, missed. Four, didn't miss. And boom! Got him. But it's actually like you're playing a game that's like designed for fun rather than like a competitive scene, which is what a lot of people want. And it will help. <laughs> What's your last name? My dad needs to know. It'll help um, keep the longevity of like a bigger player base. That's my theory. It could be completely bullshit. But I feel like from a, a, like a marketing standpoint of keeping your game more relevant, it seems like the smart play. 
But I also know absolutely fucking nothing about marketing, so I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Did we just win the game because he has fire minions coming down his lane now? Actually, fire minions are kind of weak now. They reverted all changes to fire and normal minions, actually, in duel. So basically, normal minions used to be, like, normal archer minions used to have to take two phoenix shots by nine minutes. Now, they always die in one phoenix. So, normal minions, bonus protections got nerfed, and so did fire minions, so... And fire minions HP got nerfed too, I think, so... Everything is a little bit more easy to kill, minion-wise, in terms of duel. Which I think is the right call because nobody asked for the minions to get hyper buffed. They just did it. <laughs> and then it got received really negatively and then it's been the past three months them trying to fix their fuck up. But it's finally fixed and now we can kill minions again. Which is fun. Overall... I think everything Smite is doing for, like, the lifespan of Smite is very smart. And I know I'm like, holy fuck, I think I just hit him two times. Oh my god. Um, and I know I'm not supposed to be, like, giving praise to Hyrez right now because they've been fucking over everybody. But, um... I mean, I love the game, and I want it, I want to still be able to play it, and I think that, you know, they're giving me job security with good patches, so I'm down for it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Comeback time, you got this, bro. <laughs> he said, wait for it, <laughs> while the victory screen is off. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the new Hecate ring and what you think they should or should not do to uh, to change everything. And also, let me know your theory about why they're releasing all the super OP stuff at the same time. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.